year three for us, heading into year four, and it's been a great, uh, a great adventure starting this off, and a great process to see it come to fruition. And I think it's because we've done it with fidelity that we we're able to see this grow. And our, our goal, obviously, is now that it's K8. I mean, we have a K12 building that filters into our building because we're three, third, fourth, and fifth grade. And we've seen it from second grade into third, one year at Gretschko, and we've seen it third, fourth, and fifth from our students building the processes in their own classroom and wanting it when they come into the classroom. Are we building, are we doing our social contract today? You know, like from day one of school, we've seen that kind of interest with the kids and the engagement the kids have with it really grow throughout Scotch. Now that we are an official K-8 district for capturing kids' hearts and all K-8 teachers have had the training or the opportunity to have the training, we, we have definitely seen a growth within the district. Now to think four years down the road how far Scotch has come, it, it's really a great reflection. It's a great time to reflect and making this video uh, which we're talking about is a nice time to reflect to see how much we have grown and how well we implement the process. I think at first it was a lot of just the relationships, but then, you know, making sure that you follow the Excel model and making sure that you're engaging your students and that you are launching them. Little things that like I didn't even think about before, um, but really help your lessons. Um, the kids are more engaged throughout the lessons. And then I think too, like they want to please me more, I feel like, so I, I, when they don't bring their homework in or when they aren't engaged during learning and raising their hand and participating, I feel like they push themselves a little harder. I really like the affirmations in the classroom. We could do affirmations in the classroom and then also for the school. And so kids can thank other kids or they can um, thank um, Mr. Scrivo or other teachers in the, in the school and it just gives them the opportunity to um, feel good about themselves when they get an affirmation but also feel really good about themselves giving the affirmations. Every day in the morning though we start by looking at our contract and the kids pick one thing that they want to focus on and I remind them obviously we're still following everything else but that's like our main focus and we rate ourselves at the end of the day and they have decided you know like we have to at least get a 70% before we can move to something else the next day. So always referring back to it throughout the entire day, that's been one of my favorite things um, that Capturing Kids Hearts has. And then like, you know, the good things, I think there's no way, every kid loves to share. So I think that that's been something that has worked really well in the class is them sharing. I find that student success has definitely increased. I think the behavior issues have definitely decreased. I think when a child knows that someone loves and cares about them, that they will do their best to perform and do the best that they can on a daily basis. And I also know that if you show somebody that you love and care about them, some of those behavior issues or things that are happening at home and things that you can't control, they at least have another person in their life that they can see that loves and cares about them. The social contract is like a good thing because people can like let the class come together and like and the class is allowed to come up with all the words they want to put on the social contract and they know that's what they have to follow and even sometimes if someone messes up they can know that they have the social contract there to look back at it and know that that's what you're supposed to be following. My favorite part of capturing kids' hearts is when like the teachers, they greet us every day. So it makes us feel like really warm and um, makes us feel like we belong at school. One thing that I like about good things is that you get to share happy things that, and like it helps your friends get to know you better. And it just makes you feel like your friends and teachers like really care about what you think. My favorite part about capturing kids' hearts is the social contract because it's like the classroom rules and everybody has to follow them and then it can easily help you make new friends. Like at lunch, think about your social contract, make someone else's day, go sit with them and, and just be kind and nice. I say it's a process because now it's just seamless. It's just what the kids do. If a teacher, if an adult walks in the building and they put a T up, quiet hushes. They listen to the next set of instructions. If somebody checks, they stop. Some teachers have even checked the check, so they acknowledge it. And I know that takes time. All these things take time. My goal for them is that if they put that time up front and they front load how we want to act, how we want to be treated, how we want to be treated when things are tough, 
And if we do those things up front, we're gonna alleviate so much time with the inappropriate behavior down the line that we will reach our goals and we will find that way to go from good to great.